All right, hello, NF3 learners, it's Sue. We, as instructors, we wanted to go over just kind of how the setup is supposed to look at the end of week two. So you've done your two labs for the week and what we actually want everything to look like by the end so that you guys know how to practice over the weekend and make sure you're really ready for when we do our on-site labs and for evaluation. So I have my setup here. You guys can see my living room in the background, but that's all good. So I've got my setup here. Right now I just have my primary line here. So I've got my saline bag. In this case, we'll say that my doctor's order was for saline. I have my primary line that's running down through here. And my primary line's gonna run right to the end. And at the end of this, I'm gonna want to have this attached to my um, lure lock to my patient. So we'll say in this case that this is running to my patient and it's running smoothly. I have my saline bag, I've got my primary line, I've got my drip chamber right here. My first Y site is right here and just below that is the key that's gonna go into my pump, okay? So we'll imagine that the pump is running about right here, okay? So I'm gonna lower the camera so you really only see my setup as opposed to seeing my face as well. So all of this is running down, primary bag, primary line, running right through, all the way down to my lure lock or saline um, lock here, and then onto the IV cannula that's going to be in my patient, okay? So we'll imagine that that's running through. What we covered today and yesterday was that we want you guys to have a secondary line with the medication. So obviously in the other video we went over exactly how we want everything to look um, for doing your checks and making sure that this is the appropriate medication for the patient. But just to go over a quick overview with it, so when I open up the secondary line there's going to be some sort of hanging device. This one has a metal, a metal one. The other ones do have like a navy blue one. In this case I don't need it because I have something else that I've used to hang up there. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, grab my um, piggyback medication here, okay? So I've already done all my checks and everything, and now I'm just wanting to back prime this, okay? So I've got my secondary line and I've got my piggyback medication here, okay? So I wanna make sure that I have an alcohol swab, there we go. I'm gonna stop my patient's IV pump, okay? So that this is not running through, so everything's blocked at the moment, all right? Next thing, I like to um, hang this one, the secondary line up before I do the swabbing, but in this case, because I've already <laughs> um, broken the line, I wanna make sure that I, I don't have it run all over my living room. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that first um, Y site here. So this is gonna be the one that's gonna be above the pump. So we'll say this is the pump, this is the key that goes in the pump. So it's gonna be right above there. I'm gonna swab this for 30 seconds, so 28, 29, 30, okay? Then I'm gonna grab my secondary line. So I have my secondary line right here, okay? I'm going to lock this so that it doesn't run through and get contaminated on me. I have the blue end here. I'm gonna take that blue guy off if I'm able to. It's really on there. Okay, I'm gonna put that down, make sure it doesn't touch anything. I'm gonna use two hands with that. Put the blue one down. And then it hasn't touched anything, so it's still, um, it's still sterile from uh, when I, I uh, swabbed it with the alcohol swab. Now I'm gonna attach my secondary line and my primary line like this. And since it's locked, it is not going to fill up my chamber just yet until I want it to, okay? So in order to do back priming, what I need to do is I need to line up these two chambers, okay? So I'm going to unlock this while this secondary line chamber is above the first one. Okay, so I'm going to slowly unlock this. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's starting to drip here. It's starting to move up my secondary line. And this is my back priming. So now, right now, the fluid is here. If I go lower down, this is going to fill up quicker. Okay, and if I go even lower, so if I open this up, these are going to match directly. If I want it to stop flowing, either I bring it up like this or I can always clamp it, okay? So now my drip chamber on my secondary line is about halfway, so I'm happy about that. I'm gonna clamp this off so I don't have to worry about where it is in comparison to the primary line chamber. Then I'm gonna grab my secondary medication, okay? I'm going to pull to open this one up and get rid of that one. 
Okay, so now I have, this is my open area. This one is sterile, so I don't want to, I want to make sure I'm not touching that or contaminating it. I'm going to take the cap off of my spike, okay? Put this one in without touching it, keeping it completely sterile. And now I have back primed my secondary line, okay? And now I can hang this one up. This one I'm gonna hang higher than my primary line because I want it to drip from my secondary line before I want it to drip from my primary line, okay? So I want to start dripping from this one till it's empty and then it'll just run the solution through the line until I come and either saline lock it or um, this one will run continuously depending. So now I'm gonna set up my pump to make sure that this is gonna go, my secondary medication is gonna go through the line at the rate that I would like it to and once I'm happy with that, then I can hit start on the pump and I can also take off my lock here. So at the end of all this, I'm going to have my secondary uh, mini bag medication running through a secondary line. I'm gonna have my primary line. This is gonna be potentially a continuous infusion or at least just the primary runner. This is gonna be my first Y site. All my clamps are gonna be open in this case. I'm gonna have my lock here, which is, this is my key for my pump. So my pump will go through around right here and then if I follow this right back I can bring this all the way back to my patient and at the end I'm going to see that I have my saline lock or lure lock and then the IV to the patient okay the only thing that I am missing in this setup is that I have not yet done my label to say how old this bag is when I renewed it so it's only good for 24 hours and then I also don't have any labels on my lines, so that would be my next step to make sure that I label the date and time of these lines, as well as the medication that's running through them. So if somebody comes in and would like to attach a, a different IV piggyback through this, that we can make sure the medications and the primary solution are in fact compatible. So that's a quick little overview for what we want your setup to look like by the end of day two of lab so you guys can practice over the weekend and let us know if you have any questions. Have a good one.